What's going on guys, it's your boy Farwild and today I've got a very special video on the new Breakout Forge map. So as you can see on the screen now we have uh, a selection of I think it's 10 or 11 Forge maps. I'm showcasing them on the screen now from Halo Waypoint and what these are are community made Forge maps using the Forge in Halo 5 Guardians and they have been implemented, in, implemented into the Breakout playlist maybe just for this weekend I'm not sure I think it might be just this weekend and they might use some of the better ones in the future now I'm going to be covering three of the breakout maps in this video I'm going to be covering high rise I'm going to be covering epicenter and I'm also going to be covering overpass with overpass coming up first um, so yeah um, I'm really liking Halo 5's Forge Obviously these makers have made it based on just what they can do in the game. And these maps I actually enjoyed more than the original breakout map. So this is Overpass. And you can see that it's a very, very symmetrical map. Your classic breakout. Breakout seems to be very symmetrical. You have uh, two, an area of bottom mid, area of side, top mid. Top mid has flag, bottom mid has a Hydra launcher. And you're going to find the BR on the left hand side, I do believe, maybe the right, depending on what size you are on, obviously. Um, but, the, to be honest, in terms of tactics for this this uh, map, you're not going to have that many due to, I mean, obviously you're going to have tactics, but it's, there isn't a real power position. I guess these side panels here, they're pretty vital to the game. You've got quite a few nade spots, there's a corner bunker, as you can see on the screen now. And overall, it's quite an, it's quite a basic map. Out of the ones I'm going to show you, it's quite basic. Unlike the next one, where you will see it's uh, anything but. But this is my first video, guys. If you have not seen on Twitter with my new computer, and I'm very happy with it. PC Specialist done a great job. Thanks to them, I've got really nice, really nice setup going for me now. And um, this allows me to stream a bit more. I'm going to be doing a lot more on Twitch. And also, I can make better videos for you guys. Anyway, this is the next map. High rise, high rise, maybe. I think so. But look at the architecture here. I mean, I'm I do design a school of A level, and I can already tell what this player was going for. I mean, first of all, look at the background. It's, in, it's like skyline from Halo 4. If you didn't know. Um, but a few things about this map is you can see here towards the right hand side of the screen there is a massive tower and that is a power position if I've ever seen one and you can get up there and also the VR spawn right beside it I'll be showcasing that a little play like that very shortly here we go right now grabs the VR and it's a little ledge which you can jump up to get to the top of the tower that's really good there's a DMR up top mid which obviously can break out with a bit of a power and it's a free shot kill I do believe and on this map which is actually quite large it's very vital to have flags at bottom mid on this one as you see on the screen now and you have a man cannon taking you up to the top right and top, you can run to the top mid from there um, this map in itself I do quite like a little I like it more than overpass just simply because of the fact that it's just it just looks better look at this this looks nice you can see red team at the moment controlling the top top uh, that top cannon, I guess. Top lift, top lift would sound good. It's a three layered map. Uh, you have actually you have four layers, actually. You have bottom, le uh, ground floor, upper floor, and then second floor. Look at that background, absolutely stunning map design. I really do like this one. There's quite a lot of good jump routes, as you can see here. They got to jump, to, jump it up to uh, top, top lift, but that's not the only way up. There are several ways you could go onto the hoardings and jump up from there. But overall, it's the, uh, the aesthetic and the movement options on this map are actually second to none. Obviously, the DMR is a very powerful weapon, but don't just run out and sprint to it because you will get picked off like this player does here. Now, moving on to the final map now, and this is going to be Epicenter, which if you did play Halo 4, you would recognise as a Halo 4 remake, the first Halo 4 remake we have seen in Halo 5. and. It, it plays really quite well. I mean, one thing, if the idea on this one is to grab top mid, if you can get top mid on this one, where the grenades spawn, the um, pulse grenades, pulse grenades, scatter, scatter grenades, that's it. 
scatter grenades spawn, you're in good shape because scatter grenades are a great zoning tool and do a lot of damage in breakouts. As you see, we're following the red team round, and you can just a one for top mid automatically grab the grenades, grab the DMR on the left hand side, and if you grab the top mid, and one of the windows, you're looking in good shape to win the, uh, win the round. Unfortunately, uh, red team you do not win. I'm playing with the blue team, so I'm quite happy. Anyways, that's all for me. Like, subscribe to our Twitch, and catch you guys next time. Peace out.